You may have picked up at the beginning of the episode. It's our 50th episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is so exciting. So we're counting it as our our full-on anniversary on the same day as our country's anniversary. So that's pretty cool. We're going to celebrate our, I guess we're celebrating our anniversary, our Mm B-Day. Right. On the USA B-Day as Mm -hmm. well. It's just because we're so patriotic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Our, we were born on the 4th of July, baby. <laughs> and to be, so let's just talk about how this sort of came to be. I had wanted to do one when I got out of radio. I was in radio for a minute. Mm-hmm. And when I got out of radio, I was thinking, ah, you know, it'd be nice to do something. It was on my someday list. Right. And then, you know, been doing real estate for the last five years. But a couple of years, and and for the first year. I put like mm-hmm. a one-year moratorium on anything radio-related. Right. Because it's one of those things that they just want to drag you back in. Right, like the mafia. Yeah. <laughs> I said no to everything. Mm-hmm. And then I thought it was, I don't know, fall of 2022. Mm-hmm. I thought, no, you know what? I could do something. Right. And I thought, why don't I just design it from the ground up? Mm-hmm. And it was just an idea. That's all it was. It was an idea forming itself in my head until Carly came along. And I was like, oh, it's too bad I didn't meet you back when I was in radio. <laughs> I remember when you first said that to me and I was so we flattered. We could have had a hell of a show. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so I thought, well, wait a minute. I've already had this idea. Let's do it. Right. So I think it was you that inspired me to actually take action. Mm-hmm. What are we going to call it? What's it going to be about? Man, we went over that for weeks. Weeks. Yeah, we couldn't settle on anything for the longest time. And then I think it was you who finally said, what about IFAF? And I was like, ooh, that's good. It has a certain ring to it. It does. What does it mean? (laughs) If you have to ask, it means Idaho Falls and Friends. Yeah. (laughs) If you don't have to ask. It means exactly what you think it means. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah. Um, And that's the thing. Like, I... I actually have wanted to do podcasts for a long time now, but I have no technical know-how and no time (laughs) to learn any. Um, So it was really, it was kind of the perfect uh, symbiotic relationship that we had where, you know, you had everything that I didn't. And I think that I gave you something to bounce off of. Yeah, there's no way I could do this on my own. It's kind of hard. You bring so much. In fact, I mean, most of the comments and I think fan base we have is for Carly. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially to those cringy uh, keyboard warrior white knights. Yeah, there are a couple of those. That, uh, you know, uh, th- they'll say things like, uh, oh, one um, comment verbatim on YouTube was, more Carly, less Mike. Did you see that one? No, I didn't. And I replied, more water, less thirst. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was some dude with a That's gamer channel. hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, Carly's got quite the fan base. I'm chopped liver, but that's fine. No, that's fine. Well, come on. Without you, there'd be nothing. And to think where we were a year ago, too. I think we were in Disneyland. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, right? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, like, I still hadn't figured out lighting. I was, we were still getting lighting in. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was rough. It was rough. (laughs) I like how it is now. I'd love a wide shot, but we'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. We're working on it. It'll be there there eventually. We might set up a wide shot cam just outside Mm -hmm. of these cameras so you can kind of see our little setup. We're basically in a corner. We're less than six, about six feet away from each other. Yeah, I would say that. Five, maybe. Well, like, yeah, from chest to chest, about. Five yeah. feet. Yeah. I think that's about one Carly. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. But it's just been so great to watch our channel grow. And this is where we're being listened to. Here's a map of it. This is just the download locations for our audio portion of the show. You can find us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. That's mm-hmm. the big one people ask. Oh, are you on Spotify? Yep. Right. It kind of looks like Idaho Falls and Salt Lake are almost touching tips there, don't you think? <laughs> Yes, they do. But that goes to my point that Idaho Falls is sort of a mirror image of Salt Lake City. It really is. In the 90-minute corridor that is Salt Lake City, you've got Mm -hmm. the godless heathens in Ogden, (laughs) then Salt Lake City, you know, the base, Mm -hmm. and then the super religious part, Provo, where BYU is. Mm -hmm. In Idaho Falls, it's the opposite. The godless heathens are in Pocatello. Yes, I said that. I mean, yeah, it's a college town. Come on. Well, there's five counties <laughs> from south to north and also coincidentally alphabetically, Bannock, Bingham, Bonneville, <laughs> Jefferson, Madison. Uh, but yeah, the Godless Heathens in Pocatello, uh-huh. uh, then Idaho Falls, mm-hmm. 
I, I, we're the voice of reason, maybe. You know? Yeah, I, I think just, we're kind of middle of the road. The population base, anyway, and then yeah. super religious in Rexburg. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the that's the two touching tips yeah. right there. I think it's sweet. Of East y- you can tell they love each other. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's that's nice. great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pride Month's <laughs> over, people. <laughs> Pride, Pride <laughs> Month can go on any I month can, if you I ask can me. Hear the comments now. <laughs>